Hey everybody, I'm Jamie Melton with the Franklin Fire Department and I am here with Assistant Fire Chief Glenn Johnson and we are in the Emergency Operations Center and, and uh, Chief, what can you tell us about what's going on here? Uh, currently we're monitoring uh, weather conditions uh, both inside the city and the county, uh, monitoring for any changes so that we can be proactive and take uh, measures as necessary to uh, alert our public to keep them safe. Is there anything that's going on right now, or what, what can you tell us about the current condition and how, how the flooding is, is looking? Uh, currently, uh, we're not at flood stage. Uh, we're continuing to monitor. However, we are anticipating two to three uh, additional inches of rain uh, coming through the area. Uh, we're already dealing with ground that is saturated. Uh, however, uh, it could increase the potential for flooding. So as far as... Uh, uh, road closures, we're continuing to monitor our um, areas that we know are prone to flood uh, to ensure that we're identifying them quickly and taking the appropriate measures to uh, shut them down. What exactly is the fire department, our fire department, doing to prepare and what do we have in place um, should the need arise? Uh, based on the weather predictions, well, we've increased our staffing. We have two uh, four-man boat teams that are prepared to respond. Uh, in addition to that, there's four other quick response teams located throughout the county that can help augment our response or our response into other areas. That's great. And can you tell everyone a little bit about how the Emergency Operations Center works um, together with all of the jurisdictions throughout the county? Uh, basically, the Emergency Operations Center is where all the decision makers come together. Uh, that way they can establish the relationships and work across lines uh, because in an emergency you're going to be uh, competing for the same resources. So this basically is to help us establish that communications so that uh, each jurisdiction or entity can be properly or properly receive the resources that they need. I'm here now with Hannah Bleem. She is the external affairs officer for the Emergency Management Agency. And Hannah is going to tell us about a new program here in William Williamson County. Yes, yeah, so um, right now we have launched our Williamson Ready program. Uh, Williamson Ready is a preparedness program for our community to tap into. Uh, so you can find us at www.williamsonready.org. On the site, you can sign up for Everbridge notifications, which are our community um, outreach notifications, alerts. Um, you can sign up for that at the top of the page, and you can also find preparedness materials on the page. That's great, and I just got an Everbridge alert through that system, and it told me about a, a new ro road that's closed due to flooding. So if you want to learn about new road closures or flooding, what, el what other kind of things can they learn about? Yes, um, definitely road closures. Um, they get um, severe weather alerts, uh, tornadoes. Um, most of the, the weather impacts that you'd see, you'll get a notification for that, and specifically if there's danger in your area.